What's up, all you PewTubers? Happy Tactile Tuesday. Guess what I got? Alpha Outpost. That's right. It's January's Alpha Outpost. It's the Torch Box. Let me tell you. It's, a. Uh, it's small. I bet you there's a bunch of good stuff in there. Let's, uh, let's put this box on the bench and we'll break into it. Alright. Here she is, January's Torch Box for Alpha Outpost. Today, I'm going to be using the CRKT uh, Fossil. I bought this knife about two weeks ago. I'm doing a review on it. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice knife. Um, I'm very satisfied with it so far. It's not spring assisted. The centering is beautiful on it. The grind is nice. And man, that flipper is just butter. Got a couple other knives I'm going to review too. Uh, also got the CRKT Spew. That's a pretty cool little guy there. So, that's coming up here on Tactical Tuesday. Alright, let's cut into this bad boy. Let's see what we get here. Grunt fit. Let me cut the top of this box off. Like that, like that was difficult. There we go. Now everybody can see perfect what's in this box. You're seeing it just how I'm seeing it. So, all right, we get 25% uh, off grunt style, grunt fit. Start the new year off getting fit with the world's most innovating fitness app. Well, damn, I need that. Learn more and subscribe. I'm a big fan of Grunt Style. Uh, I have a lot of their clothes. I'm not endorsed by them. But I do enjoy their clothes. Uh, and they're a part of Alpha Outpost. The CEO. The CEO of both companies. Alright, we got the torch. It's got the packing list. Scenario, the cool little comic book, how to make a pine cone torch. That's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good tip there. Then the TP fire. What's this? Fueling your torch. Well, that kind of gives it away, doesn't it? And then. Oh, here's a good tip. Fat wood. A lot of people don't understand what fat wood is. It's when a tree dies, a, a real sappy tree like pine. And when it dies, closer to the where the branches meet the tree, it condenses all that sap and turns real hard and real uh, dense. And that's what we use. It's called fat wood. Um, here's the challenge for this month. It says, use your new torch box to start a bonfire and throw a party. Enjoy. Take a photo or video of your experience. Tag us on Facebook or Instagram. Use Alpha Outpost or hashtag Alpha Outpost, hashtag Torch Challenge. They're giving me an excuse to throw a party? Damn, I like this company. All right. What do we got here? Fiber light fire starter. Use on Amazon code below. Buy one, get one free special. There you go, guys. There's the code. Go on and get some special stuff. What do we want to go to first? I guess everybody has seen the torch. So let's uh let's get into that. Alright, Alpha Outpost Torch. Well, it's a torch. Y'all know what a torch looks like? Let's open this son bitch. Uh, 
We don't need to look at the box. We might as well open it. That's a damn decent torch. Uh, it's nice and heavy. It's got a lock on it. It's got a flame adjuster on the top here. Higher, lower. It's got a nice base with a rubberized pad, so it's no slip. I'm a maker. I build all kinds of stuff. If y'all didn't see my uh, where I have the camera, I designed a little mount so that I can set my camera up here on the wall and still do this and, and be able to be behind the camera. So I'm building all kinds of stuff, soldering things. This is fantastic. I will use the shit out of this. So that's fantastic. Oh, we got our patch. The torch patch. I like this design. This is one of my favorites. This one in the Reaper so far. And again, with this nice Velcro, I use these, I save them, and I sew them onto stuff. We'll put this up here on the wall with all the other ones. As you guys know, this is tinder. This stuff burns fantastically. <clears throat> all right, we got a Stormproof Match Kit. Made by UCO, Utility Comfort, Originality. Got the striker on the bottle. It's in that OD Forest Green. Oh yeah, it's got a nice gasket in there. Some cotton tinder. Just a little cotton ball at the top. And if y'all haven't seen these matches, I'm going to show them to you here. When we go outside and uh, test all this stuff out. You can't put these damn things out. These things burn and burn and burn, man. You stick them underwater and it looks like there's a bomb going off. These things are awesome. Wish I had these when I was a kid lighting firecrackers and blow stuff up, man. Matches always get wet and I'm stuck. So that's good to have. Alright, next thing in here. We got uh, fiber light. says find the ground wood fiber and wax check that out. it also has a ranger band around it so we got all kinds of good multi purposeful stuff nice ranger band I bet you that stuff lights quick too it looks like I'm a fat you can tell I'm a fat kid because that stuff looks like that uh that uh, beef jerky that you get, that's like uh, beef jerky uh, dip. Uncle Bill's or Wild Bill's beef jerky. <clears throat> ah, we got a fire starter. Phariseum rod. And striker multi-tool. Now, I'm not going to use this right here. I'll take it outside and use it because my luck, I'll burn my damn house down. But it's got a 50 millimeter ruler. I have no idea what that little grip thing is there. I guess that's the striker. And a little hex wrench. That's cute. Oh, it also has a, a key for a map. So one and 100 thousandths is five kilometers. That's pretty cool for map reading. It's a nice, heavy, thick ferrocerium rod. It's not going to wear away too quick. That's definitely good to have. Alright, what else here? We, we got bubble wrap. Check this shit out. <laughs> Everybody loves bubble wrap. Look, you get mad. That's probably the best thing in this box. Alright, I'll save that for later. You guys, you probably want to see this. This is the Torch Folding Saw. Check that out. 
Those teeth are aggressive. I think I told you all before, my father used to own a, a tool sharpening shop. So growing up, I sharpened a lot of saw blades. And let me tell you, this angle on these cuts right here, this son of a bitch is going to cut. Oh, yeah. The texture on this grip right here is nice and rubbery. It's not going to slip out of your hand. It kind of has like a the shrade angle on it. If you guys have ever held any of the straight knives, it's a lock back. It's got a nice positive lock up. No wobble to it. It locks closed. Look at that. I'm pulling. You can see my thumbnails turning white. I'm actually pulling on this bitty. Got to push the button to open it. That's tough. I just taught my, my kids how to use a, a hatchet. I should have just waited a damn week. Could have used a saw. Alright, and last but not least, this little this little guy right here. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Everybody needs a little America in their life. That's America Style Zippo. It is branded Alpha Outpost, but that's perfectly fine. Ain't nobody looking at the bottom of your lighter. Good flip. <clears throat> Good spring in it. I'm going to carry this for sure. I'm also a metal detectorist, and I've found a whole collection of Zippos now, and I'm going to tell you, this is just as good as any of the ones that I've found so far. It might even actually be a Zippo. America! Well, alrighty. So, I was going to go outside and show you guys this, but, uh, it's cold as a well digger's ass outside. And, uh, now... Look, you guys are going to say, oh, he's a sissy. He's a sissy. No, I'm telling you, it's so cold. When you breathe in through your nose, that shit turns into the Larray Caverns. I mean, you, you try to do a snot rocket, and you might as well start playing airsoft, because they're coming out of there sharp and fast. I'm, I'm telling you, it's freezing outside. It's rigid. So I'm going to do most of this in here, all the stuff that I can do small lighting on fire in here and then we'll we'll go outside and we'll uh, do our challenge we'll throw a party like the challenge states so you guys will like this little review I got um the diamond green light strike on the box regular house matches normal you know everyday house match and then we got the UCO Stormproof Matches in the Waterproof Case with the Striker on the Bottle from Alpha Outpost. Let me tell you, these matches right here are no freaking joke. They look goofy as shit. Look at that, that's, that's something goofy looking. That is like some kind of a, looks like some kind of a food they would eat over in Thailand or something. Some kind of sh kebab. I like this. It comes with a little bit of tinder and cotton ball inside the, the cap there. Just shows you a way that you can use it. Um... One thing I don't like about this is there's no lanyard hole or nothing. So you just kind of have it. So if you drop it, you're I guess you're shit out of luck. <laughs> no fire for you, right? I mean, you could tie a string around it, I guess. But still, that's, that's some dangerous, dangerous stuff there. So first we'll, we'll strike the regular match here. 
So what I have right here is just a regular household highball glass full of tap water. I'm going to light this puppy. I'm going to dunk it in the tap water. I'm going to show you what happens when a match goes underwater. I mean, you're going to say common sense, right? Brian, that's common sense. Well, yes, it is. So, we've got fire. And we've got water. Oh, well, that ain't no good. Check that video out. You put out the match. Duh. Now, we got the UST, or UCO, not UST, UCO, Stormproof, Booger Matches. Check this out. Here, I'm going to zoom in. You're going to want to see this. We'll move the cup over here a little bit. You're going to want to see this. Now, I'm going to do this from a couple angles. So... Wah, wah, wah. Addendum. Don't hold these booger matches down at the end of the match stick, or you will break the match. Like what just happened to me. You want to strike them while holding on to the booger part. Now, that's thermite. Now, watch this. That match is underwater. I mean, look. But you take it out. Son of a bitch, it's on fire. Until it burns all the way down past the booger. You see that? That's scary. These things are damn scary. These are the matches you don't want your kids to get a hold of. Because these are the matches the little kids are going to burn the damn house down with. Alright, let me show you from the side here. And then I'll give you my uh, honest opinion of these fine, fine matches. All right, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to show you from the side here so you can see the bubbling action of the match under the water. If I do this correctly, it would look like some kind of a child's science experiment. So, I'm going to strike on the box. These things scare me. And we're lit. And now we're under. Look at that. And now we're under again. Check that out. Now, once it gets down past the, the booger part there, that's when it'll go out. But damn. Smoke on the wall. Looks like a nasty drink there. Alright, next on the list. There she is. The Phariseum rod. The, I call it the Chunky Monkey. That's a thick... Look how thick that Phariseum rod is. That's a nice piece of, piece of metal there. And then you get the Striker. Now the striker's got a uh, zero to fifty millimeter um, ruler on there, hex nut. I don't know what that is. I got no clue. Um, feels good as a back scratcher, but but uh, that's all I know there. And then you got this scale. Where is that? A scale roller for your cartography, for your map reading. Show you your distance. Um, 
I've been using this weird end to scrape some of the uh, coating off here like that. Let me tell you, if you use just the edge of this scraper, it works great. Um, I'm trying not to burn my house down too bad. But, I mean, it literally will throw sparks. Let me tell you. Let's see if I can do it with the beast. Oh, yeah. Like nothing. The spine on this knife, though, is, is ridiculous. So, you're looking for a good ferrocium rod? You found it. Because this thing is nice. I, I believe, I mean, there's really nothing to test about it other than it works. Uh, you saw it work through some sparks. Uh... It's black. So, I have no complaints on this. This is always useful. Uh, I'm going to be honest, though. Like, all this fire starting stuff, it's good to have. It's good to have in case of emergencies. I mean, really, it is. But let's, I mean, let's be real. Let's be real. Right there. That's, that's what everybody's going to use. Okay? That's what everybody's going to use. They're going to go to that before they go to this. With that being said, this is still good to know. Uh, having this skill with you is is a damn good skill set to have. <clears throat> um, you saw my kids out there with me the last couple episodes here. I try to teach them all these primitive techniques just in case... They don't have one of these, and it's tits below freezing outside like it is now. So, good job. That was great to put in there. A little cheap accessory, but man, it's fantastic. Alright, let's move on to the next piece here. Um... I think we'll go with this. <clears throat> Sorry, that was just too much light on there, man. It started to wash everything out. Okay, this is the finely ground wood fiber and wax. This is the thing that made me hungry because it looked like that Wild Bill's beef jerky dip. Looks like dip, tastes like beef jerky, best of both worlds. The only thing is, you can't keep it in your lip because you end up eating the some bitch. Every every mouthful you put in there, you eat it. It lasts for about forty five seconds until your taste buds get the best of you. I mean, this stuff here, I, I imagine it's gonna light up pretty good. It's very fibrous, waxy. I mean, it didn't lie in the description. It It's wood and it's wax. So, that's a good start. Now, let's see here. My wife's going to love this. Check this out, guys. This is why my wife's going to love this. Merry Christmas. Oh, where's it light at? Merry Christmas. Bath and Body Works candle top. Shh, don't tell my wife. Alright, let's put a little, little pinch of doodad on here. Now, I know we can light it with a lighter. Let's see if she lights with the ferrocium rod. Not so far. Let spread it out a little more. Maybe I can get some of the little hairs or something on it. Oh, oh, almost had a light. Let 
We almost had ignition. I'm going to keep going until I get it. Cut frame. Here, we got it. Edit. I'll edit this out. Hooray! Look, hooray! Fire! <laughs> We've got the gift of fire. Hmm. Okay, let me put this out. I, I got a thought, okay? Yeah, we'll, we'll just dump this in, in this. Oh, oh. Ow! <clears throat> okay, you see all that magnesium from the ferrocium rod is still all over it. And it just burnt the ever-living hell out of me. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Kids, don't try this at home. But as you can see, it floats on water. That's a good quality. That's a good quality to have. It looks like shit, but it floats on water. Okay. Now, it makes a nasty mess. And for that... <clears throat> It brought me to this point. This stuff, I feel like you can smear it on stuff. Uh, like if you got some real nasty wet wood and you really got to get it dried out, you could literally pack this stuff onto the side of the piece of wood. Here, let me let me try it on, on this this here lighter. See if it'll work. Because of that wax. And then you can light it on fire and it's got all that heat. Yeah, check that out. It's got the heat pulling the moisture out of it. That's smart there. That's technology. I like this stuff. So, definitely good product. Uh, it's got a bunch in there, so it's going to last you a while. Good to have. It's a fire starter. It works. I guess that's what matters, right? Is it works, and it comes with a ranger band. You can't go wrong with a ranger band. Um, I guess on to the next piece. I'm going to save the America for last, the flag. I'll show you this bitty. This is the Mac Daddy Alpha Outpost Torch. Uh, good aluminum construction. Might even be steel. It feels like steel. Up here, uh, it's got a bunch of settings. You got your off and your lock. Now, up here, I don't quite. I don't quite get this. Okay, up here. Damn that light. You know, I'll cut, try to cut the lights in. That is not helping. Alright. It's got like a minimum, a small, it's got a big droplet there and a small droplet there. But then on this side, it has a plus and minus for like your fire. So, what is the big and little droplet up here? I wonder. I mean, is it air to fuel? Hang on, let me fill this. I'm an idiot. Let me fill this up. I don't know why I thought I was going to just. 
Don't start burning shit. I didn't even put fluid in it yet. Hang on. Pause. Time out. Beep. All right. So <clears throat> I filled her up. I figured out what everything is for. So now I'm going to show you and I'm going to do a little comparison. This is what I used before. Before I got this beautiful, beautiful torch here. And I'm sure most people have these. It's just a little pencil torch. And it says, warning, hot. Do not store in hot areas because it will blow up. Now, <clears throat> this thing works all well and good if you stick it in a vise to hold it. Uh, but this, this here, you don't need to do any of that. It's got its own little stand. And you don't have to do a damn thing. So let me show you how it works, and then I'll show you the comparison of the flames and and all that goody, goody, goody mess. Okay, so you get a fill hole, and you fill it with just regular Ronson uh, butane lighter fluid. Um, it has this nice foam piece on the bottom, non-slip. Um, you got your Alpha Outpost Torch logo. And then this is what I was confused about. Okay, so you got off and lock on this side. Okay, well, here's what that does. When it's in the off position, you push down. You have to hold the button down in order for the torch to stay lit. When you turn it in the lock position, you can let off the button and it will continue to run until it's turned off uh, this knob up top here that has the big drop and the little drop that controls just as I thought how much air to fuel mixture so you can actually have just a regular flame or it heats to almost a green flame almost like a cutting torch this thing gets a nice nice torch going on it and then, try not to burn myself or anything else, this controls the intensity of the torch, the distance of the flame, just like a standard lighter. Alright, so you see how this works? You see, this, this is a good little torch. See, I can back away, I can... Do what I gotta do. And then turn it off when I'm done. Sit it off to the side. Nobody gets hurt because it's not touching nothing. Perfect. Now, this little guy. This little guy, you have to turn the knob. Sorry, my fingernails are dirty. I've been metal detecting today. We're about to get some snow tonight. Then you have to physically light it. And there it is. That's all you got. You can't hold it. Or I mean I guess you can hold it, but you can't can't do anything with it. You can't it's not it's not practical. It's not functional. Um, literally you have to stick it in a vise to do anything, which now you gotta go out and buy a vise. That and this little thing runs out of fluid in like three minutes. So this is as big as the flame gets, which is about two-thirds the size of the Alpha Outpost one. But also, it doesn't get half as hot. So, this is a stink of poo-poo. And this is actually a, on point. Another win for Alpha Outpost. You guys... I look these up, these mini torches like this, they're like 40 bucks. So, another good shot for Alpha Outpost. Uh, last but not least, on the fire utensils, we got the Marica. Here, I'm going to grab one or two of the zippos that I found while metal detecting this year and compare them 
You know, they're still a little dirty. I did dig them out of the ground. Um, let's see. So, a standard Zippo has three, six, eight holes in the wind bevel. This lighter has eight holes. Mini Zippo, eight holes. The spring, the only thing I'm noticing different is <clears throat> facing this way, the pin, <clears throat> the punch of the pin is on this side. The pin went in on that side, and on this one, it's backwards. The punch of the pin is on this side, and it went in on that side. <clears throat> but the actual levers are identical the spring levers for the uh for the lid are identical uh let's see any more differences um the flint area is identical to zippo and the Base is identical to Zippo. If you look here, they're they're the exact same rim all the way around, measured and everything. So I wouldn't be surprised, guys. If Alpha Outpost went and uh, actually had Zippo make this lighter for them, um, you can just feel it. The quality's there. It's not like those cheapy Zippos you get at the gas station. Like, you can feel the aluminum or uh, whatever uh, metal, I guess, aluminum or steel body. You can just listen to the sound. Those cheapy Zippos, you can hear a difference. Real Zippo. From the 30s. Zippo I just got. From Alpha Outpost. Well, this one doesn't have any noise because it's even older. I mean, obviously, the only difference is there's no Zippo insignia, and it doesn't have the distinguishing marks. See, Zippo puts distinguishing marks, lines, and dashes. There's two lines diagonal. Hang on, this one might be better. Okay, you see the three dashes right there? Dash, 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 facing left. Dash, 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 facing left. That's how you can tell the age. This is this one is dash dash facing right, dash dash facing right. And then obviously the script is different. Um, and then you have your alpha outpost, which doesn't have that. It says alpha outpost. But I'm telling you, that just the way this lighter feels, if it's not made by Zippo... Whatever company makes it, I would buy their lighters instead because it, it's, I mean, it's that close. And I'm a snob. I'm a snob when it comes to lighters. I promise you that. So, so another win for Alpha Outpost. Guys, so far this box has been pretty fantastic. So the only thing I have left to review is... The soul. Well, I was going to do this outside, but now it's O Dark 30. And uh, it's one below zero without the wind chill. So, uh, I'm going to do it right here and make a big old freaking mess. And normally that would make me mad, you know. I, I wouldn't want to clean it up. 
<laughs> but I got kids, so I'll just make my kids do it. So, alright, hold on just a second. We'll get to this one. Alright, see this piece of wood right here is, uh, what was it, um, crepe myrtle, okay? This is incredibly hard wood. This is one of the hardest woods we have around here, is crepe myrtle. Now, first let me show you how this works. Um, it's a lock design, meaning it locks closed. Push the actuator button. And it locks open. That's awesome. That means it will not open in your pack. You put this in your pack and it's going to stay. You put this on a lanyard outside your pack and it's not going to come open. So it only opens when you want it to open. The teeth on here are gnarly. They are freaking crazy. And the handle is this rubberized material. Uh, it looks like polymer wrapped in rubber and let me tell you it's 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 on point so I'm gonna make a hell of a mess here but I'm doing it for you guys Here. I don't have nothing to lean it against, it's just my problem. It just chews through wood like butter. I mean, that's a nice clean cut. I wasn't pushing, I wasn't doing none of that. Well, damn it. I expected to make a mess, but not this much. So yeah, it works out perfect. This is a great little saw. Can't wait to put it in my bag. Seems to be good quality. Doesn't tell me a, a strength on it, a blade steel. It is flimsy, but that's because you need a good cut on the wood. And sometimes you need to bend the saw just a little bit. So, alrighty. Uh, let me get right back to you. Let me clean up this mess and... We'll finish out this review. America. All righty, guys. Coming up next Tuesday. Um, I'm going to do something a little special. I'm going to announce a giveaway of some of the things that I have unboxed um, here from Alpa Outpost and I'm also going to be unveiling a new subscription box that is fresh on the market. I'll be the first person to be reviewing it. Um, so look forward to that. That's going to be real cool. You guys will really like that, especially if you like the Pew Pew Life. Um, let me show you a little preview. of This is another product from Hawk Innovative Technologies and that is coming up next Tuesday on Tactical Tuesday Review. I'm telling you guys there's a whole lot of stuff coming up you're gonna love it I promise I promise I promise so go hit that like button punch that subscribe button the more subscribers the better you guys are helping my channel grow um, I love you for it I appreciate you doing it um, I promise I know we're a brand new channel, but I'll be I'll be bringing you some really awesome stuff. I won't let you guys down. Make sure you comment below anything you want to see. If you want to see it, I'll do it. I'm a crazy MFer. So just you just let me know. I mean within limits.
Oh shit, I'm recording. Alright y'all, <clears throat> my wife's sitting in here, and I just figured out the perfect use for these UCO matches. <clears throat> she has uncontrollable flatulence. <laughs> and her ass stinks, so I'm going to light this in hopes of clearing the air. You're so dumb. We might blow up, but at least it'll smell fresh. <laughs> You're not really going to use that, are you? Yeah. I sure am. <laughs>